In today's video, we're talking foam solo mining. If you own a Bitax or maybe a NerdQX++ or another home solo Bitcoin miner, did you know that you can mine other altcoins on the SHA-256 algorithm? Maybe something like Bitcoin Cash or Digibyte. And guess what? Your probability of hitting a block on either of those is significantly higher. And did you also know that you can actually run your own node at home to increase your chances of hitting a block? In today's video, we're taking a look at a new release from the team over at mineshop.eu that released not only a Bitcoin pool to run at home, but also a Digibyte and a Bitcoin cash pool. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Let's talk home mining real quick. If you guys are in the market for your next home miner, I highly recommend asicmarketplace.com. They have some of my home favorites like the Bidax Gamma 601, the new Supra Hex 701, and look at this, the Canaan Avalon Q. One of my favorite home miners, especially for heating during the fall and winter. And they got some of the new ones out there. The Nerd Miner, Nerd QX version 6.1, as well as the Beast Octa Axe. I can't wait to get one of these. Really looking forward to it. Finally, if you guys are in the market for parts, they actually just started carrying parts for home miners, as well as full-size ASIC miners, power supplies, cables, adapters, as well as even control boards. Listen, when you're at checkout over at asicmarketplace.com, use the checkout code the hobbyist miner for $100 off. Check out the links directly down below. All right, so let's talk more home solo mining. So I'm a huge fan of running your own pool and your own node at home. Not too long ago, I did a video walking you through how to do this step by step with a mini HP PC and a purchase two terabyte drive. And off we went running our own pool and our own node at home. And it's been absolutely great. And Umbral, which is a free product out there that's actually an operating system that runs off of Ubuntu and Linux, makes this significantly easy. I'm talking like, guys, you can do this in 15 minutes and I have a step-by-step -step guide to hold your hand as well as, if you guys aren't familiar on my website, I actually have an article section with a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this if you prefer to read through the instructions versus going ahead and watching a video. But regardless, there is huge benefits to running your own node and pull at home for your home solo miners. And I absolutely cannot push it any more than I already have already in this video. One, goes ahead and, and kind of lowers that latency between your miner and the pool, which there's absolutely something to say for that when it comes down to hitting a solo block. In addition to that, it helps to decentralize the Bitcoin network. And that's a big one for me and I absolutely love it. So if you guys want a guide on how to go through setting up an umbral node, how to set up your own node and pool, I'm not gonna go through that entirely in this video because I have a full dedicated 15 minute long video that I'll link directly down below. And if you don't wanna go ahead and set this up yourself, guess what? There's a plug and play miner. The team over at Bitcoin Merch came out with this. That is a plug and play home Bitcoin mining pool and node. That's pretty much a ready to go umbral setup. And so you just pretty much take it out of the box, let it update and off you go. I'll link that down below. We did a separate video on that. All right, hopefully I haven't lost you quite yet. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is actually my umbral, and I actually have Basin Pool that I'm currently running right now with my miners on this. Whew. Sorry about that flashbang. Let's get that into dark mode. But I have my home solo Bitcoin miners currently running on that, like Avalon Q, the Gecko A2Z, the BMM units I have, uh, the Gamma GT, lots of other units I have solo mining Bitcoin right now to my own pool here at home. In addition to that, that pool runs directly off of the Bitcoin node that I have synced up. And I'm actually currently running knots. There is also core it really comes down to your philosophy here on Bitcoin, you can pick and choose from the two. But today I want to talk to you about this post from Mineshop. And let's go ahead and run through it. And then we're going to test it out. 
So mineshop.eu really surprised us about two days ago, introducing the Axe Umbral, the future of decentralized Bitcoin mining. What is Axe Umbral? A new way to mine Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Digibyte, all SHA-256 coins that are out there, and more, fully decentralized, powered by Bitax, a tightly integrated with Umbral OS. This changes the game for solo miners. So if we go ahead here, and oh, we have to join Twitter. All right, let me log in. Why it matters. Own your own mining stack, monitor, optimize, and control your Bitax fleet. No middleman, no cloud nonsense. Everything runs locally on your node or desktop. So taking a look here, this says Axe Live Thermal Overlord. Temperature is the goal. Error, errors are in voltage. Uh, incremental steps to avoid full send chaos. This is in okay. All right, I'm on board. Show me more. So number three here, the toolkit. Axe Live, real-time bit axe monitoring. That's pretty sick. I wonder if it has a sweet dashboard. We'll have to take a look. Axe Sim, simulate performance before deploying. That's pretty cool, especially I wonder if you can do some stuff with overclocking. Axe Bench, benchmark and manage your miners. All right. Axe DGB, digibyte full node and solo pool. That is sick. Um, Axe BCH, Bitcoin Cash node and solo pool. And uh, Axe BTC, full Bitcoin node and pool coming soon. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll down here. Number four, one dashboard to rule them all. No more guesses, uh, no more SSH headaches, just a clean interface, live stats, and full control from your PC or Umbral node. Number five, get started. Install from the Umbral Community Store, and then they have standalone apps for Windows and Linux. And then they have here, coming soon, uh, Axe BTC is the true Bitcoin solo mining for, I like that. Final word, this isn't cloud mining. This is real hardware, real nodes, real rules. I like that. That's pretty cool. So, okay. So it gives us the Umbral Community Store. So let me copy that real quick. All right. So now let's go back over here uh, to where we were and we were on my Umbral node. So traditionally, when in the past, if you guys have jumped in on running your own nodes at home um, and you followed along any of my Umbral guides, you know, whenever you'd like to go ahead and add an app, you come down here to the App Store and then you type in the name of the app. By the way, Umbral doesn't cost anything. I wanna make sure I make that clear. So you'd come in here and you'd type in like Basin, for example, and then you'd find it and you're good to go. Well, this is a community app. So you actually have to come up to the dots up here, click community app stores, and then you take that URL, which um, I'll go ahead and actually, it's in the tweet that I put here. Uh, it actually is directly here to the GitHub. So I'll put this directly down below and you can just paste it in here. Once you paste it in, it's going to search for it and look, uh, will it mod community app store? And that's exactly where this is coming from. That, that's what this is right here. Will it mod Umbral community store? And it has all of them listed out here right on their GitHub for transparency. So we're going to go ahead and hit open and check this out. Let's take a closer look. So we can add all of these. So we can add Axe Bench. We can do Axe Live, Axe Sim, Axe BTC, uh, and Axe BCH, and then Axe DGB. So these are all the apps that we discussed there. So first off, uh, let's go ahead. Let's just click on these and look at this. Dude, this looks ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, wow. Okay, let's go ahead and install this. And let's go back. To, we're just going to install all of them. How's that sound? We did Bench. Let's do Live. Let's do Axe Sim. We'll do Axe. Now, I don't know if this is out yet. I guess we'll find out. It says uh, BTCF. Um, I thought they said that it wasn't coming out quite yet uh, or coming soon. Maybe maybe it's already out at, by the time we publish this here. Okay, so we got our Bitcoin cash pool. A lot of people are wanting to run that themselves. And here is the Digibyte. All right, let's uh, give this a few minutes and we'll check back. All right, guys, it's been a few days and note to self, don't try to sync three different nodes at once. It takes forever. So I've gone ahead and actually paused uh, the Bitcoin and the Digibyte one just so we could go ahead and get today's video out and finish. But let's take a closer look at what we have here. So on the Axe BCH, we've actually synced this entire uh, node. It actually didn't take too, too long once I paused all those other ones there. But you can see they've actually gone ahead and paired up the node and the pool all in one app. So that's what you see here. So you can see off to the side, there's zero workers, there's zero hash rate. 
but our node is entirely synced here. You can see last block 43 minutes ago. And then we can click on pool and check this out. Here is the stratum information that we will use on our miner. And then this will actually be all the pool information as we go ahead and get everything set up. Now it does say here, miner config, and it has the stratum and the payout information. So it says we have to go to settings before that'll get started. So let's let's just do that real quick here. Okay, so it wants, let's look, it wants my Bitcoin cash address. So let me copy that real quick. And I'm just gonna paste that in over here. And I could probably just save pool settings. I think that is good. Let's go back to the pool. Okay, it has everything we need. Perfect, that's great. It's really nice that you can actually do a lot of these settings on the pool side and fully operate everything. Yeah, right within here, which is really nice. Oh, check that out. You can actually submit a support ticket and everything. Wow, this is really in depth. So we're gonna go through setting up one of my sh machines here in just a minute on Bitcoin Cash on my own node and pool. But let's see what this other stuff that we have here. So we have Axe Bench. And I have added the, the one Nerd Q X plus plus the white one that I have. I added that in here. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. You just come up to add device, put in the IP address, you name it. It asks what model you have. So I selected the Nerd X or Nerd Q X plus plus, which is four of those BM 1370s. And then this is definitely something interesting. Once you select what miner, it puts in the voltage and then it wants you to record the amps on the actual power supply. And you might be like, oh, well, why? That's kind of different. Well, check this out. Look at all the information ends up pulling in here. You can actually benchmark it. You can auto tune it. You can configure it all from this actual dashboard. And getting into benchmark here, you can deal with different preset. Look at this. There's a sporty tune, a moon tune, a overclock tune. Like it's crazy. There's all these little preset overclock settings that you wouldn't get traditionally on the miner and we readily have them available through this app. So you could do this for each of your miners, which is absolutely insane. In addition, they have a monitoring tab and this gives you a deeper, look at this, look at this. This is crazy, a deeper dive into more monitoring on your miner. Uh, there's a sessions tab I haven't played with in profiles. There's a pools tab here I haven't played with yet, operations. But the one thing I saw under operations, which I'm eager to play with is scheduler i wonder how much you can schedule like maybe you can schedule when the miners to turn on when's it to turn off or what um profiles to use during different times of the day this will be something interesting to learn more about and then settings of course this can, we can come in here and change up the theme of uh exactly what we're messing with with axe bench so like that's pretty sweet i like how axe bench is kind of like your workbench overall now we do have the bitcoin um node and pool very similar to bitcoin cash one same thing with the digibyte one but i need to sync those after i go ahead and get everything running here there is an axe live here it says temperature is the goal errors uh our errors earn voltage incremental steps to avoid full send chaos so i haven't played with this yet and then there's also the axe sim which i thought this was actually pretty slick in here so you could come up here and pick a model so let's say we pick like the exact model that i just went ahead and added and then you could come in here and adjust like core voltage and core frequency and fan speeds. And it will actually give you simulated hash rates and a watt consumption. So that's actually pretty cool to just tinker with and play with to see how far you can push it once you apply it to the actual um, miner itself. So let's come in here. This is, let me jump over to the tab. Here we go. This is my Nerd QX plus, plus the white one. And so let's come into settings here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down, we're gonna remove, right now I'm actually within Umbral going to Basin Pool. So I'm going and for uh, Bitcoin. So I'm gonna remove that and remove the port. And we're also going to remove the address. So we're gonna jump in. Let me uh, close a few of these out here. We have a lot going on. Here we go. Here is our Bitcoin Cash node in Pool. So we're gonna come into Pool here. And when you scroll down, it shows you the URL and then there's the port. So it's the same IP address here. Um, so we're going to put that in and it doesn't, it looks like the syntax here does not want everything else. And then great. And then what port does it operate on? Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's go back over four, five, six, seven. And then we need to put our Bitcoin cash address in here uh, is my understanding. And let's go ahead and save this. 
and uh, let's restart it and give it a few minutes and see how we make out. All right, take a look. We are up and mining on our own Bitcoin cash pool and node. A few little things that we did have to change here. I don't want to make sure I'm fully transparent about it because it threw me off a little bit. So right here is the kind of like the, the node side. It's kind of like your overview in node on the left, pool on the right. And then going back to the pool here, uh, I wanted to scroll down and you can actually see the payout address change. You know, mine was like a uh, Bitcoin cash colon and then a long address. And it has the um, syntax here, which is this payout address, which isn't mine, dot worker name. And it really threw me off. So I had to come over to settings and you can actually read in here. Uh, it actually ends up converting it. You can see here converts it uh, to the leg uh, to a legacy format. Uh, so it will, everything will, will work out. It just, it, it converts it over. So this really threw me off. I was a little concerned, looked into it some more. So if you guys are in the same boat, don't be too concerned with it. Now, after I went ahead and put this in here and hit save pool settings, um, the one other thing that we did have to do, and of course I didn't read it was right here, restart the app from the umbral, um, OS. So you actually have to come back over here, right click on it and go to restart. Once you do that, then I restarted my miner and bam, everything started working. So if you run into the same boat that I did, you may have that same problem. But look at this, it's showing our stats here. Everything's up and running, which is absolutely awesome. Now you can also see there's a blocks tab that actually shows you any blocks found within here. So I'm excited to put some miners on Bitcoin Cash, especially on my own nodes, see how this works out. If I hit any blocks, I'll update you guys. And then I'll just convert them over to Bitcoin in the end, which will work out awesome. All right, home miner. So I will leave all of the links to everything we went over in today's video. I'm excited to go ahead and tinker and play around with a bunch of these other apps. Let me know how you guys make out. If you guys go ahead and try this, what avenues you decide to go. Links directly down below in the video description. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.